Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video I am going to be showing you the entire process of creating one YouTube video. I think people don't understand the amount of work and time that it actually takes to make one video. So that is what today's video is going to be. I'm going to show you the process from start to finish on how I personally create my YouTube videos. The video that I am going to be showing you that I, how long in the process of creating is titled why I no longer use Keen. If it's posted before this video, I will have it linked down in the description or somewhere on the screen, probably in the description. But um, yeah, let's just go right into this video. So obviously the first step is planning it. A lot of my videos I no longer plan. I kind of just sit down and film and say what I want to say and talk about what I want to talk about or do what I want to do. Um, I no longer typically plan them but some videos I do. This particular video I um, I'm not planning at all because it is something that I lived through. It is a story time video so I don't really need to plan it. There are some story time videos I try to collect my notes and stuff, whatever else but for this particular one that is not the case so for this video we have zero minutes planning for it. Step two is actually sitting down to film it. I will insert a clip of how I film um, like I will show you the process. All I have is a ring light and my old phone and um, I just sit down and film in front of my um, DIY background. Okay, sorry, my dad phoned me, but I just sit down and film in front of my newspaper wall, which I made myself and I just press play and I start talking or doing my makeup or whatever the video of the day is. So today I'm going to be filming why I no longer use Keen. It is a story time. Um, so let's just go right into filming that video. Okay, you guys, so I just finished filming that video. I have about 11 minutes worth of footage, so not that much this time, which is good because it's just a simple story time. By the time I edit it, it'll probably be roughly 10 minutes long, which is perfect for a story time. But I sit down, film it for 11 minutes, so by the time I like set up and film, it probably equates to 15 minutes for this video. So now what I do is I take a thumbnail and I will literally include the footage of me taking a thumbnail because it's quite comical. It, it's quite comical because you literally just sit here and you pose while it's on video and then I just screenshot when I think I have a good thumbnail. So that is what I'm going to do now. Enjoy the weird faces and the awkward posing. because I look so ridiculous <laughs> okay that's it I should have gotten it by now but I have roughly 30 seconds worth of filming for a thumbnail so um, we're at a total of 15 and a half minutes for creating this one 11 minute video ish um, I'm not going to be editing it today so when I do end up editing this video I will take you guys along for the journey because that's actually what takes the most time is the editing and the uploading process so yeah we will be back when I do that okay you guys so I did change my mind I am going to be editing that video today so the next step is to sit down and edit the video which like I mentioned before it is the longest process of this entire process this making editing one video if I can ever speak proper English. Editing a video is the longest part of making a YouTube video, at least for me. Um, so by the time I added my intro and my outro to iMovie, 
I have 11 minutes and 51 seconds worth of footage to go through and edit. So that is what I'm going to do now. I just, I film on this phone and I edit on this phone. I think this is like the iPhone five, six maybe, I can't remember, but it is a really old iPhone and it is what I do all of my work on. So I'm going to be editing and I'm actually going to throw up a timer to see how long it actually takes me to edit one video that is almost 12 minutes long. So let's get to editing. Okay, so I am now done editing the video for an 11 minute and 50 second video. It took me 22 minutes and 24 seconds to edit it. And I'm not done yet. What I do now is I go back and I watch the entire video start to finish. So it says that I have 11 minutes and 20 seconds. So I really only got rid of 30 seconds worth of footage, which thankfully it's not that long of a video, but um, so the total video is going to be 11 minutes, 20 seconds. I'm going to proof it completely, watch the entire video, and then we will get it ready for upload. But first we have to proof the video. Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a story time of why I no longer use the app. Keen. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, I now have that video scheduled to upload. Well, it is actually uploading to YouTube, but we will do the scheduling in a little bit. But next step for me is to create my thumbnail and to add all the information to the video, the description, the title, everything like that. So I'm actually going to screen record me doing that and do a voiceover when I am editing this video. It's just easier for me to do it that way because I do everything on the phone that I am filming on currently. And the other phone is uploading the video. So I'm just going to screen record the process of making a thumbnail, putting in the description and the title and uploading the thumbnail and scheduling it to upload. So I'm going to, I'm trying to think of the best way. I'm going to screen record it, but I don't want it to be like vertical in the video, but it might just have to be a little bit vertical in the video, but we are going to do that now. Okay, you guys, bear with me. I have not voiceovered in a long, long time. But right now, I am just going into the app Fonto, and I select the picture that I want to use as my thumbnail. I chose this one, and I just type whatever I want to type on um, for the thumbnail. This is what people see when they click the video because most people go based on the thumbnail first so I really choose my words carefully here and try to make it like clickbaity but also what it actually is so that people aren't disappointed when they click the video obviously if you put like cat video and cats aren't in it then they're going to be disappointed and click out really quickly So here I just curved it 
and I am now like trying to center it. I really like curving it just because it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension, I guess. And then this one, I am outlining it with um, white. It is just to make the border of the letters white and then I make it my pink color. And of course, now I am just saving it to my phone and then I go in to another editing app. This one, I just bring in the photo and I all I do is filter it into high definition. It just brightens it and makes everything a lot clearer. Then I go into my notes, ignore all the notes, but I go into description and I just copy all of this, every single word other than the title, YouTube description, goes into my YouTube description. So I'm just copying it now and now I'm going into the YouTube studio and this is where I do most of the um, scheduling, planning, I don't know what you want to call it. So first I put it into a playlist, this one got put into story time. And then I schedule it to upload. This one I originally put for April 1st. I later moved it to April 2nd. And then I again later moved it. But I put it for noon. My time. And then I paste in the description here. Add the title at the top. I fill in any blanks I have. Like it will say, hello, thanks so much for watching another story time. And then all my do all I am doing now is just proofreading it all. I'm reading it through, making sure there's no typos, make sure everything's there. And then I copy and paste the title of from the description into the title space. I then upload my thumbnail and then I save. And as you can see, it's saving the changes. Sometimes this part takes really long. I'm not sure why but it will eventually save my changes and that is it for my phone uploading part. Okay you guys, and now we just wait. So it took me about four minutes to program everything up into my YouTube studio, but now we have to wait for the video to finish uploading so that I can do the rest on my computer. There are some things that can't be done on your phone but have to be done on the computer YouTube studio so once the video is finished uploading we will deal with all of that but in the meantime we just have to wait for the video to finish uploading as you can see we are at 81% I believe it is 82 now shouldn't be too much longer but it usually takes a long time to upload these videos. But so tonight I'm very impressed probably because it's not that long of a video. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for that and then we will go in on my computer and handle the rest. Okay you guys, so the video is now finished uploading. So what we do is we go up to the corner, we go to my computer's YouTube studio you have a lot more features on here. You can get statistics, but that's not what we're here for. Um, we're going to go to details and what I forgot to do. Go down here, go to my playlist and then copy the link. And that is what we put here. Add the playlist. I proofread everything, so I'm just gonna give it a quick read. And then we keep scrolling. This is something that is now mandatory, is it is not made for kids and it is not 
um, the adults audience is not mandatory but the kids my videos are not made for kids and don't restrict my videos to over 18. now i'm gonna add a couple of tags so i'm just gonna go story time um keen and i am just going to add these in it's too hard to type with only one hand Okay, so quickly, I just wanted to mention I have keywords everywhere. I turn it on and I go to, nope, YouTube. There we go. And I'm just going to type in random story time. Um, go down to here. Um, sure, we'll go to this girl's video. Grammarly helps make. And that's all the tags she put on her video, so we're gonna find a different one. We'll go. I don't know, we'll go here. Here. Okay, so all of these give me some ideas for story time tags to use okay so i spent about five minutes making all of these tags so you get 500 tags or 500 characters so i just did a variety of story time keen psychic basically anything related to the video it took me about five minutes and now i am just going down to here we are going to put the video location Nobody knows I have a channel, so I do not put Saskatchewan. I put all of Canada. Um, I really don't think there's much of a difference because Saskatchewan's really, really small. And then we go all the way back up and we're going to end screen. YouTube is really nice and they have it all pre-programmed from my last video. And this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna go ahead and save that. And I don't know why it's not saving, but that's that. Okay, you guys, and that is everything. That is the entire process from start to finish of creating one YouTube video. So that video ended up being just over or just under 11 and a half minutes. For that 11 and a half minute video, it took me an hour to complete from start to finish. It took probably 61 minutes total, but we'll just round it down to one hour. So roughly for an 11 minute video, it takes an hour for me to actually upload it and have it ready so that is scheduled it'll be up april 3rd i originally put it on for april 2nd but then i looked at my schedule and my planner and um it doesn't go up till the third so i switched that but yes 11 minute video takes roughly one hour for me to um put out there obviously each video is different if one video needs more editing it's gonna take longer if one video barely any editing it's going to be very quick obviously the shorter videos upload quicker and the longer videos don't like there's a whole bunch of factors that go into this but that is for that particular video which is out the day before this one so it'll be linked down below but that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of like a behind the scenes of how somebody posts a YouTube video and all the work and effort that goes into it and the time. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope you subscribe so you never miss a video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.